all. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the place where I'm renting a room, uh, the landlord has some books. Yeah. I can look at them if I want to. Yes. St. Agnes. Oh, the patron of young girls. Oh. <laughs> Often pictured with a lamb, a symbol of purity. In fact, the Latin word Agnes means lamb. <laughs> the eve of St. Agnes Day, January 21st. Oh, in medieval times was a day when young girls, by magic practices, tried to find out who their future husbands would be. <laughs> Not the magic practices of St. Agnes. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. All these girls trying to find out who their future husbands would be. <laughs> You know, it would be something if somebody decided that they were going to decide who the, the spouses of persons were going to be. <laughs> Quite often, the way of the corporation is to arrange marriages. <laughs> you know, I thought my marriage was arranged. Um, I think Heidi did know something about me before we got married. Pooch. <laughs> and if she does have a twin, yes, Georgia, mm -hmm. Heidi Lee Budner, she did not tell me that. <laughs> I would have wanted to meet her twin. Does she look identical to her? Pooh. <laughs> See, when you're married to somebody, mm -hmm, you expect that they will tell you uh -huh, if they have any relatives that you should be aware of. And a twin sister would be something I would have wanted to know before marriage. Yeah. Now, my experience has been, yes, mm -hmm, that um, there's memories uh -huh, of experiences. <laughs> And the experience is something different than the memory. Mm -hmm. Let's say I experienced a bowel movement. <laughs> Caused the hair on my arms to stand up. Yes. <laughs> but I was in a church service worshiping the Lord. And I had the experience. Yes. Of the uh, Holy Ghost goosebumps. Yes. Now this is an air conditioning unit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the freshened air outlet. Yes. Air circulating, yes. The mixing chamber, the air filter, the cooling and, and dehumidifying coils. Yeah. Then there's the outdoor air inlet. Oh, and there's a compressor right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this refrigerant, yeah. A liquid which boils at low temperature. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think the most common type of refrigerant is, is what's known as a Freon. Yeah. Now, let's say you're not going to put any water in the atmosphere and it's going to get really hot. We're going to have a drought and we're all going to get to experience what heat feels like. Poop. Those in the corporation, excuse me, mm -hmm, they would sit there and say, well, it's more important that we arrange for the marriages of the population because they can't decide for themselves who they're going to marry. <laughs> My thought would be that... Um, Knowing, yes, how you're going to cool the residences and the businesses when you have a drought, yes, would be of greater concern, yes, than actual um, arranging of marriages, yeah. See, the corporation is concerned about the offspring mm -hmm, of those in the population. I'm concerned about the experiences of the population. <laughs> Now, I was watching television, yes, and in Iraq, they have a symphony, and I'm sure they're very good performers, right, and they're practicing their symphony in a room that had multiple, I think, two or three units, air conditioning units, yes, and I looked at the symphony, and then I looked at the air conditioning unit, and I thought, you know, there are a lot of nations where it's very hot, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, this idea of refrigerant, that uh, liquid boils at a low temperature, circulates through an arrangement of pipes, a compressor, and an expansion valve. <laughs> now, the compressor takes in warm gas and compresses it uh, to a high-pressure hot gas. Uh -huh. This hot gas goes through the condenser tubes, which are cooled by water. Yes. Now, um, I realize that this encyclopedia, junior encyclopedia, yes, it's probably from a long time ago. Yeah. 1971. Poop. <laughs> and, uh, it, well, look at, they've been printing this in 1934. Look at all these copyright dates. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but let's say I'm concerned about the, the hotness of the earth. Yes. <laughs> that would make me concerned about uh, the experience of cold, cool air in different types of locations. <laughs> 
Now, this Freon that happens to be a refrigerant, mm -hmm. is there any other way to make a, a liquid yes. that boils at, at low temperatures? Oh, my gosh. Look at Afghanistan. It's got to be hot over there. <laughs> Could you call Iraq for me? <laughs> ah. See... It's possible, yes, when I looked at the audience listening to the actual symphony, yes, it seemed that they were experiencing something different than what it is to have a memory, yes. Now, it could have been the performers, yes. Mm -hmm. It could have been the the soul, yes, that uh, experiential knowledge of music where <laughs> you're trying to evoke some sort of a emotion from the audience that they're experiencing. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I thought somebody was um, trying to decide what we were going to experience as a population. Poo. Now, let's say you're in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I would think that any person that has an air conditioning unit in their personal residence is, is well-to-do. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to know um, if it's available to me to kind of do a little innovating as it involves uh, air conditioning. Yes. I'd like to make some money today. <laughs> now, uh, St. Agnes, yes. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think a church was built in her honor in Rome, on or near the scene of her martyrdom. Mm -hmm. According to one story, mm -hmm. she refused to marry a Roman noble because he was not a Christian. <laughs> For this, she was ordered burned at the stake. <laughs> um, does it really make you a martyr when they kill you? Pooch. I mean, as a as a form of death. Yes. Mm -hmm. Executing a woman that refuses to marry the corporate way. Yes. And they decided to uh, tie her to a, a stake. Yes. Lit the whole fucking thing on fire right now. Pooch. <laughs> you know, some of these saints, they've actually given their martyrdom mm. <laughs> now is this something that i have to experience i mean i'm not catholic right now Ouch. <laughs> but i think saint agnes is just a little pissed off now the corporate way yes mm -hmm. you're just gonna shit all over christianity and call it the holy spirit right now <laughs>